I know this sounds kind of crazy, but this is a new niche on YouTube that a lot of people are kind of exploiting to get views. And one of the channels that actually started out got over 100 million views so far and about 99,000 subscribers. Now, unfortunately, this channel didn't make anything from ad revenue, but some other channels that I started without showing my face, as you can see, got pretty decent results. Here's another channel over here that got about 347 million views and about 100,000 subscribers. And here's another one over here that during its live time did quite quite well in terms of ad revenue and here's another one over here that during its lifetime did about 162k but only in the last 28 days did 59 dollars because i made a mistake which i want to show you how to avoid in this step-by-step -step tutorial and here's another channel where i avoided that mistake and now we started growing to over 4k a month and during the last 365 days this channel did 47k and during its lifetime it did about let it just load i believe over 330 13k and then here's another one over here that during its lifetime did about 3k but died down right now because we made a mistake that i want you to avoid in this step-by-step -step tutorial so step number one is understanding how this youtube niche even works and how these people are running these channels without showing face and to do that i will be showing you some real life examples this channel over here called the ai grid is posting everything related to ai and most importantly posting news related to ai now i really wonder if you can catch what all of these videos have in common besides the same niche but just by looking at them i really wonder if you can catch it and i will tell you in a second what i mean by that but according to view stats which is mr beast tool this channel is doing about 11k per month just from our revenue but here's another example channel over here called ai uncovered and they're also posting videos and they also have one thing in common as the previous channel that i will share and it's not the niche of course they are in the same niche but something else as well and these are also completely faceless videos over here here, they're getting quite decent amount of views and according to view stats does about 2k per month from ad revenue and here's another example channel over here called ai revolution doing pretty much the same thing and having that same thing in common as them that is not the niche and i will show you what i mean in a second and this channel is doing about nine thousand dollars per month just from ad revenue alone now down this tutorial i will be showing you 11 different settings that any small youtube channel should have turned on to avoid a mistake that i I made because by not having these settings on this channel that i started i basically just wasted time because it got 100 million views during its lifetime but made zero dollars but then this channel got significantly less views but during its lifetime it made over let it just load six hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars from ad revenue and i'm going to show you which settings anyone can change regardless of whether you're monetized or not now step number two in order to actually make money from the videos that you are posting on your youtube channel you need to be approved into YouTube's partner program and current monetization requirements are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in the last 12 months and for some people that can literally take 12 months to get and even when you get to that point it takes over a month to get accepted in the partner program so now you can basically just go to a website called dfydave.com slash monetization and get instantly monetized so that you can monetize videos from day one when it comes to our revenue step number three is to go over to chat GPT and there is this new GPT available in the store completely free of charge that is all about news if you just search for news inside of chat GPT it's going to give you the latest news in the AI space so what I'm going to ask it for is I'm going to tell it that I have a YouTube channel that talks about AI news and breakthrough discoveries in the AI space and most importantly when I tell this to chat GPT I will give some examples of the most popular videos that I found on these channels so what I did is I just went to the most popular ones and you can apply the same thing to any niche but i'm just using this one as an example as you can see i just opened up these videos and then i copied the title so i can put it into chat gpt and tell it that these are the topics that people are mostly interested in when it comes to my niche and now this gpt will actually give me the latest stories right now in this in this industry related to these topics that were performing well on a channel in this niche now i would honestly just go back to chat gpt right now and for step number four i would just tell it to give me 10 different name ideas for a youtube channel that talks about about AI and just make sure that it's one word because that usually performs a lot better. And as you can see, it even gives me like two different responses that I can go with. I can go with like AI buzz and stuff like that. But let's say, for example, I'm going to pick AI Apollo. Let's say that word is really nice for a channel name, just as an example. Then I'm going to go to Logo Creator. Step number five, go to Logo Creator inside of ChatGPT and just tell it that you have a YouTube channel called and then just leave a name to your YouTube channel and describe what kind of logo you want. So now it's going to be asking you some questions. So do you want a 
natural one, a serious one. Let's say for instance, I really want the serious logo because this is going to be a serious YouTube channel. Now we want it extremely clean and simple to be honest. And then I'm gonna proceed to the next one. What colors I would prefer. So I really like, let's just go with black and white. And I'm gonna continue with that. I really wanna keep it minimalistic and simple. And I just want a single logo design. So nothing more than that. So I'm basically copying and pasting, just telling the chat GPT what I would need in terms of a logo for this YouTube channel. And now it's gonna take a few seconds for it to generate the entire plot profile picture that we'll be using for our channel in this niche. Again, the same niche that these people are using from all around the world to get views and make money without showing face. Now let's go back and let's check out the logo that we have created. So it's pretty nice. It's a pretty decent logo combining AI and Apollo in this case. So I will just click on it and I will just take a screenshot of this so I can save it to my computer because usually when you press the save button on ChatGPT, it saves it as a web page instead of saving it as a JPEG, which is the image file. So I'm just going to crop this and I'm going to save it up to my computer. Now, next up, what we obviously want to do is we want to sign up to YouTube and create a YouTube channel. So you can just go to youtube.com for that. Click on create an account for my personal use. I'm just going to call it as the name of the channel. Then simply click on create a channel and just select the profile picture, which is going to be the logo that we previously made. So I'm going to type in from computer, upload from computer, simply find the file and make sure that this is adjusted properly so it fits somewhere around here and I'm clicking done and I'm going to click on create the channel. Next step that I highly recommend to any YouTube channel, especially if you're starting out is setting these settings on because it will genuinely help you get more views and grow a lot faster because most people don't even have these settings on. And what you want to do is you just want to go through your YouTube studio and once you upload your first video, you just want to go to the content on the left hand side and you want to turn off the automatic captions done by YouTube because they really ruin your watch time and you want to add captions manually after you've uploaded the video. Step number two, you want to go to the settings section on the left hand side. You want to select upload defaults and this will really save you a lot of time and that is to set the automatic description for all of your uploads. So that way you don't have to write the description every single time. But if you have one offer that you want to promote or something that you want to say every single time, then you just write that in the description. You can select the visibility to be unlisted every single time you upload and click save. Now in the branding section, the left hand side, if you click on customization and you go back to this side, you can now basically click on branding right over here. You can scroll down and you can upload a video watermark that will show up throughout the entire video every single time you upload automatically. And this can either be just your logo or it can literally be a subscribe button. If you really don't care about branding, then you can just have a subscribe button over there to remind everyone to subscribe while watching. And I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. And I want it throughout the entire video and I'm going to publish this. Next step, you just want to go back to ChatGPT and you want to enter a prompt, a very descriptive one. If you are going to be using ChatGPT to write scripts and you're not going to be writing them yourself or you're not going to hire someone to write these scripts for you, then I really recommend that your prompts for creating these scripts are extremely long and explain everything in details. Now, in this case, I will tell you that I have a YouTube channel that talks about AI news and I'm going to give it a title that I've seen perform well on other channels. And then I'm going to give it one of those news articles that I got previously from ChatGPT AI news. So this is a full prompt that I use. I also tell it to never start videos with something that's boring, but get straight to the point or have a really good hook because people are really, really bored of those long intros and just want what they came for when they clicked on the video. So now I have this massive prompt and based on it, ChatGPT will start generating the script with a direct hook, then a short introduction, and then the actual body, which talks about this new thing that happened with Google Gemini and the entire AI news space. Now, next step would be to obviously generate a voiceover from the script that you wrote. And for this, I personally just use 11 labs. It's like a free AI tool. At one point, you will have to pay for it. But when you're starting out, you literally don't have to. You can just sign up for completely free and test it out. But essentially, you start pasting parts of your script here. So you go back, you get the script. Let's say I want to start off with the hook that was generated by ChatGPT. And I'm just going to take this, the controversy hook. I really like this one because it gave me like three different options. And then I'm going to go back, paste that over here. And I can select a different voice. There's a bunch of them that you can choose from and find something that would really, really suit your YouTube channel. Let's say I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to click on generate speech. And in a few seconds, we're going to have the voiceover. Let's actually listen 
into it together so we can see if it if it's good or not. Here's what they're not telling you about Google's new AI and why it matters to you. It's actually good, but there's probably even better ones that sound even less robotic. So you will really have to be trying out because there's hundreds of them and you just have to nail the one that really sounds natural. And once you find the one, you just paste the entire script here or paste part by part and then just download the voiceover to your computer. Now, in terms of editing these videos, here's an example one generated by the AI Grid, this faceless YouTube channel that is in this niche. And if you open up that video, you can see that they mostly just have captions. They have some background that is kind of moving with different motion graphics, but it's really, really simple and straightforward. And then they also show their screen. They take either screenshots or screen record, and that's mostly their video. So for this, you can basically just go to CapCut, this free tool. You can click a new video to start from scratch. Then you can just go over to YouTube and you can search for a black grid background. And then you can take this one, for example. You can just click on the share button, click copy, and then you can go to YouTube to MP4 and there's a bunch of different tools that you can use for completely free to download these videos. But the idea is to basically just paste the link to that YouTube video and click download in the highest quality possible. And once you have that downloaded, basically just go back to CapCut, drag and drop that file. And most importantly, take the actual voiceover that you got from Eleven Labs. And a really cool thing about CapCut, not just that it's free, but also if you go to the captions section on the left hand side and you click on auto captions and click generate in the English ones in this case, it's going to give you those automatic captions that you can just drag to the center somewhere around here. And then you can change the font. I would also change the size perhaps to around 30 or 39 in this case. In the animation section, the left hand side, I personally always select the bounce animation. And here's how it started off. So we have this AI edit over here. We have the voiceover and it's already being done. I'm not telling you about Google's new AI. And it kind of started off here and then you can just mix it with different graphics and with different animations and also screen record as well. And you can see how those other channels are doing it. And once you're done editing, you just click export and you click download and you can either export it directly to your YouTube channel or just export it here, download it as an MP4 file, and then simply go back to your YouTube channel and upload. Now, when it comes to creating thumbnails, I found a bunch of these faceless YouTube channels that blew up with their first video. So for example, this channel over here only has nine videos on their YouTube channel. And the first one that they published already got a hundred thousand views literally the first faceless upload on this youtube channel and here's another one here as an example and their first video which was a year ago is eight hundred thousand views the first video on the channel and they already have 77 000 subscribers and only 14 videos on this faceless youtube channel and what they have in common if you look at their thumbnails they have this diary of ceo style of thumbnails and what i mean by that is they're basically stealing the idea of this guy who popular arrived this style of thumbnails which actually perform very very well where you have just a black background you have some text and you have a highlight in red and you can make these quite easily if you simply just go to canva.com which is like a free graphic design tool click on custom size click on 1920 by 1080 change the background color add some of the elements let's say for example because I'm talking about Google and AI perhaps I can find some element that's related to that but I can also find some person if I want to put some personality that is being mentioned in in that video, then I can basically just go over to Google. And perhaps if I need an image of Elon Musk, well, I can just copy this image. I can go back to Canva. I can paste it over here. And now if you have a, a Canva premium account, what you can simply do is you can remove the background, just click on edit image and you can click on background remover. And they're going to basically remove the background for you. In this case, I wouldn't even need to do that because the background is pretty much the same. So it doesn't even make any difference. And then on the left hand side, if you click on text, you can just add some text and the left side, you also change the font to articulate. This is the font that most of these people are using. If you're using text on the screen, you want to make sure that you're using up to six words. So in this case, if let's say this is the text that I want to put in the thumbnail, I would also make it slightly bigger. But most importantly, in the element section, you just want to select some block. In this case, I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to make it red and I'm going to add the position to backwards. And this is how the thumbnail is going to look like. As an example, I can just download this as a PNG file, which is a high 
highest quality and download that and simply upload it to my faceless YouTube channel. And if you started off like this and you're not really spending a lot of energy and money on these thumbnails and they're very simple, then you're reducing the cost of production, keeping the profit margin pretty high. And then later down the line, you can of course make things a lot more complicated and advanced. But for now, you can just start off like this. And again, remember that in order to actually monetize these faceless videos, you need to be approved into the partner program. So I'm going to leave a link to DFY Dave instant monetization in the description box down below so you can get instantly monetized and start earning right away from the faceless videos.